Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Generation Old School. This is by far the first ride of 2020 since the coronavirus. I'm really excited. We met at the Home Depot over here in Hialeah, in Okeechobee and 130 something Avenue. We're gonna ride out all the way to Kendo. There's a whole bunch of cars here. I'm excited to see everybody else again. Most of the cars that I'm gonna be showing you guys here, you guys already saw them in some of my previous videos. Still, they never get old. If it is your first time passing by the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us on social media at Generation Old School. By the way, this is what happens in quarantine. Baby coming, baby on the way. <laughs> this is what happened after 40 days being stuck at home. Okay. Don't take off your mask. So over here we have this rat rod that I have never seen before. First time that I see it. This one belongs to Danny 53. We were gonna shoot this truck before the coronavirus um, came in and obviously we had to postpone it but it's something that I got planned for you guys. 53 3100 beautiful truck built by Yaril, Yaril Customs owned by Danny 53. A lot of people here today, huh? Those are just cherry steel wheels, no? No. Those are, I believe, steely wheels. Or original wheels from the... Uh, Never tell me about those wheels. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. We have Mario from Florida Hot Rods. He's a master mechanic. He has a shop and he only fixes, he specializes in fixing old school cars but I'll try LS swap so buddy so man how are you congratulations we we'll filmed this one this is a 1950s Starling belongs to keep up 305 we we'll filmed this car before you guys loved it 15,000 views in less than a month Here we have the 1953 that belongs to 53 Films, Detroit Steel Wheels, bag. This one has an LS engine from a Corvette. Interior was done by Sergio Cuerto from SE Custom. who is also the owner of the Rabra next to it. So over here we have this 1957 Bel Air convertible, beautiful car. This one is owned by O. Eddie, the Dukes. By the way, the Dukes is a car club here in Miami. All of these cars belong to the Dukes car club. This one belongs to I'm the real I'm the real rap. I'm gonna be linking every single one of of these rides down below in the description, so you guys can follow them. Give them some love on Instagram. So what we're gonna do, we're getting ready to ride out, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we're gonna go all the way to Kendall, one after the other one. 
I'm gonna be filming and documenting everything that is going on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, let us know with a big like. My name is George, and this is my 1955 Buick Riviera hardtop convertible. What many people don't know, uh, real quick, if you look on the side, there's no post. Uh, Buick, on purpose, made it look like a convertible hardtop, which it isn't. So that was one of the design features. <clears throat> I got the car approximately 10 years ago from a neighbor of mine. Uh, I actually traced this car back. Uh, all the way to Arlington, Texas factory. Many of these Buicks were built in Flint, Michigan. This actually came out of Texas. Very little rust when I got it. Based on the information that I have, I think I'm the fourth owner. And this was a county car back in Texas. So uh, much of it was painted this way. I actually had it repainted to the correct colors. This isn't the original color, but interestingly enough, this model, this tri-color was available this model that year. So it's legit to the model, uh, the tri-color. Uh, much of what I've done to it, I've driven it. Uh, my whole motto is until the wheels come off, I don't believe in trailers. And uh, this thing is caught on fire on the side of the road. The, it's almost blown up on the side of the road. And we just keep going. Uh, it's the original 264 nail head in it. It has okay. a two-speed transmission, the original. Uh, it has a four inch static drop, Jamco Springs. Uh, this company does it all. It's basically uh, old school static drop, no airbags. Suspension's all original there with that. Uh, it rides great. Uh, I can do 90 all day in this thing. Really? Uh, these things were built to go across the country. If you remember in 1955, that's a family of eight can fit in this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Couple of things that are I want to call out. So I put a modern brake because you need modern brakes. Mm -hmm. But this is what you call a silencer. So Buick back then, for them to, to, to make the engine noise not as much, this actually takes in here, this is actually a silencer so you don't hear the four barrel carb uh, noise coming out of it. Anything, everything else you see here is original. Yeah, if you look uh, on the inside, there's not much, we're still working on the interior, just having some fun, but um, that's the original dash. The four J's uh, is my family. Hothead, Jeannie, Jared, and Jeremy. That's our family, so we're called the 4Js. Nice. And that's just uh, branding, you know, it's a family vehicle, so that's what we have fun in with. La 4J. Ahí está. <laughs> the, this is the original. If those who know, there's no such thing as plastic, anything plastic on this car in the 1950s, that's stainless steel. Uh, I had a, a person who works on museum cars in Sebastian, Florida. Uh -huh. This lady, I gotta give her a shout out, the trim lady. She amazing. Probably a lot of guys here have used her and she re-straightened out, took out every scratch of all this trim. There's 12 feet of it wow. on both sides. Yeah. George, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to film your car and for being on the video. It's been a pleasure. Stay safe and take care of this baby. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for what you're doing on the car scene, man. My right pleasure. on. Thank Thanks, you. brother. My name is Mario. I'm from uh, Florida Hot Rods. I'm the owner of Florida Hot Rods. Uh, we have here a 53 Chevy uh, Bel Air that I built uh, about a year or so ago. This car is a Cotty car. It was built here in Florida. Uh, we did a Mustang II air ride suspension, uh, uh, Acura CVT tank. It's got an LS3, uh, LS3 09 vet motor with the 4070, uh, uh, full AC. We shaved the full firewall on the car, uh, cleaned up the whole engine bay, shaved it all up, painted it. We did uh, headers, full exhaust, three inch exhaust, wheel wood brakes all around. We shortened the rear end to, to put the mob steels on the rear. Um, interior was done by SC Customs here in Miami. That's got a Dakota digital dash. A full music system. Accurate suspension, no? E level? Act, yeah, E level. E level. Um, that's pretty much it. The car came from Cali pretty much clean, really clean car. It's a beautiful car. And you also have your car here. My car is the 41 Chevy, right behind it. I know we have filmed it before, but for those of you guys that are new to the channel, and we haven't seen Mario's car. It's a 49 Chevy. 41. 41 Chevy. 41 Chevy uh, Coupe. What have you done to this one? This one has all leather interior done from Riviero Interiors here in Miami. It's got an LS motor in it, full air ride uh, suspension, Acura, and uh, also AC system. Nice. And this one, to open the hood, you gotta get under the fender. Yeah, it's kind of a something hidden that I did. So now I have it in the car. Very nice. This LS engine came out of a, what? 2005 Tahoe? Suburban. Suburban. Yeah. This one is all original as well, just with a tune. Uh, motor's pretty much stock. I didn't do anything to the motor. Yeah. Very nice, man. Very nice. So guys, there you have it. If you want to contact Mario, Mario, what's your phone number or your Instagram My Instagram account? is Florida Hot Rods, at Florida Hot Rods. I have the uh, YouTube channel. I have uh, the uh, Facebook as well, Florida Hot Rods. And you can also find me on Google uh, through Florida Hot Rods, flahotrods.com. There you have it, guys. So contact Mario for any, any needs that you have on your old school course.
right, guys, and this is it for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for inviting me to this event. If it is your first time passing by the channel, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big like, comment, and share on your social media, and tag me at Generation Old School. We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Hey, don't, don't do that to that beautiful car. Oh,